All right, so you might be able to hear my space here in the background, but I wanted to kind of tell this little story while it was on my mind. It's not exactly a story. It's kind of talking about a situation. So anyway, I need to preface this with preface, preface, whatever, with, okay, this might make me seem like kind of a jerk to some people. Some people will get it. Some people will, will understand I'm not a jerk, but like some people... Some people will want to misinterpret something, but anyway, actually, I feel like I haven't had that many negative people lately, but anyway, so, and usually, the last thing I'll say before I start this, usually, I don't, I don't always feel like this, I kind of like feeling like this, though, <laughs> I have, um, I don't have my Invisalign in, so you might see, um, attachments on my teeth, I just ate dinner, and so I, and put my, haven't put my trays back in yet. So anyway, um, yeah, I, I kind of like feeling like this, but anyway, so, and I'm going to not get real specific because I don't want to like give it away too much exactly who it is or whatever. It's no one who anyone would know. It's no one who watches my videos or anything like that. But anyway, I have this person in my life who is, they, they don't like me. And it's one of those situations where it's not, to me, to me, it's obvious. Like to me, I can, I can see right through it, but to someone on the outside, it's not super obvious. Okay. Like it's, it's kind of one of those things where someone doesn't like you, but they don't do anything outright. I don't know. I don't know if passive aggressive move is the right word. Maybe I, I, I know what that means, but I don't totally know what that means, but I don't think that that's totally it. It's just li little things. Like I notice little things. I know how you treat someone when you like someone. <clears throat> and I know how you might treat someone when you don't like or don't respect someone. And anyway, this person treats me more like, you know, the second group anyway. Um, so this person doesn't really like me, but it's someone who probably on some level they do like we, we can get along, like we can get along and it can be, it can be fine. But just at the end of the day, I know you have a little something for me. And I, while I don't necessarily want anyone to dislike me, I, do, this isn't the person I don't have like the most respect on the planet for this person. I'm not saying that I disrespect this person, I mean, everyone's a person or whatnot, but it's, this is not someone who I would, my aunt always uses this phrase, this is not someone who I would write home about. Like, this is not, not to sound mean, and I probably wouldn't say this if I didn't think this person didn't like me, but like, this person is nothing, I mean, everyone's special, but like, th this person is not very, you don't impress me. Like, I actually think you're a little, um, like, I have some judgments about you, but I don't say it because I'm not that kind of person. But anyway, so this is not like, if there's someone who I really admire and they don't like me, that would, that would kind of bother me. I mean, I can kind of get over it and it, it just depends, but I've had that happen before where there's been someone who I, I, I liked, like I actually liked and I found out, oh, oh, okay. That would bother me. This, it doesn't bother me like that with this person. So anyway, and this is something I kind of had noticed for a while, and it was kind of one of those things I'm like, oh, huh, you know, like, you kind of pick up on something, kind of pick up on something, and then cumulatively, after a while, you kind of put two and two together, I'm like, oh, okay, it, it was, like, it kind of happened little, like, you notice little things over time, and this is the thing, I think most people, I don't know, I don't know if I should say most people, I think if you are so funny to see my fingers <laughs> it looks so funny coming from like behind that angle I don't know that looks so silly <laughs> um I want to say most people are pretty intuitive but now that I think about that I don't know if I really think most people are very intuitive I'm pretty in touch with myself and I can have a pretty good read for, for people. Not, and I'm not saying that in a mean way, because it really annoys me when people say that in a mean way, but I can, I can have a good sense for, I can look at two people and I can kind of know how they feel about 
another about one another i can know um and then i can look at how someone interacts with me and i can know what they think about me like i, I just you you can just tell it's not it's not like some psychic ability or whatnot it's just you're in tune with yourself you know how we're all a lot of people are we're all kind of the same you know it's like you smile when you're happy when you get mad you you know like certain things are just human like everyone's different but like certain things are just human like so you kind of know yourself and you kind of know oh that's how I act in this situation I see this person doing that in that situation so anyway you're kind of intuitive so some things you just kind of know and how do I say it so I was like thinking about this and I thought this for a while I thought this for a while but then it kind of just it's not that it just clicked but I just kind of like solidified it I guess this person doesn't like me because they're jealous of me <laughs> like you can you can just tell you can just tell and it's a really crappy feeling that I've had before when someone doesn't like me for I've had people not like me it, if someone doesn't like me but they dislike me for the right reason then that makes me feel good but if someone and if someone likes me, but they like me for the wrong reason, I could really elaborate on that. But um, anyway, some of them might be a little bit personal or whatever. But this this person doesn't like me, and a good portion of the reason why they don't like me is because it's because they're jealous. Like I just I just get that feeling, and I don't get that feeling with just anything. So I'm like trying to stress that that I'm not trying to like I hate it when someone you always want to people want to frame everything to make themselves like come out on top but I'm always careful when I do that because I never want to falsely make myself better than what I am but I'm like thinking about this I'm like no I actually think in this situation there's something to it they're, they're jealous of you and this is the thing as insecure as I can genuinely be sometimes like I, I can get very down on myself and I'm not just saying that or whatever I can get very down on myself but as insecure as I can be <laughs> sometimes I feel cute and <laughs> sometimes I like kind of play into that cuteness and I don't do it on purpose like I don't do it it's not something that I do out of force and as a matter of fact anytime I try to force myself to behave one way or another way like anytime I try to make myself do something like that out of force it, it's not a good vibe. It's not a good vibe. So that's one thing that I've kind of learned um, in life is just if I am doing something or I am for trying to force myself to behave a certain way or, you know, like try to have, you know, I just, it doesn't work. So if I ever find myself trying to force something like that, then that's kind of my signal to, okay, this, this is not working. Even if it's like a good thing that I want for myself, just forcing the behavior it's it's very anyway it, it's it's not it's not the best way to do it so anyway um but i i can i can feel kind of cute sometimes okay and i can depending on it it depends on the situation it just it depends on different people different people different situations sometimes the same people in some situations yeah in some situations no it's just different people in different situations draw out different characteristics in me and that's I think that's normal for everyone so sometimes I get in situations where you know I, I think I'm kind of cute or whatever like I just I just feel cute you know and I I I play into it again not deliberately like it's not like I said oh let's be cute today I, I don't know maybe sometimes I do say that actually but you know it, it's not one of those things like I'm not I'm not trying to get anything out of anyone I'm not trying to manipulate anything about anyone sometimes I just I feel cute and I just kind of like I don't know I just, I just kind of like play into it a little bit you know I don't I don't know um and I've been in that vibe when this person has been around and I think this person has seen me kind of be like that around like certain people or whatever and sometimes okay this is the other thing too I feel kind of mean sometimes I might get more attention than this person okay like I might get more like better quality attention and I I know I'm, I'm like such a jerk but the thing is is I feel like for most part of my life I have felt like this is 
I've always been like, I don't know, I, I kind of feel like I can say this because I've been in enough situations where I feel, if you ask me a lot of times in my life, it's actually, I actually feel very upset because I feel very ignored and not, and unseen. Actually, it, it, I'm, it's actually like a pretty big deal for me in, in my life, like in general, not to take a dark turn, but, and I don't like saying this a lot because I don't want it to, I, I don't want it to be like pitiful, you know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want pitiful energy, but like a lot of times in my life I do, I don't know, I'm, I'm not like doing it justice to describe it, but it's like, I don't always feel like this. I don't always feel like the, how I want to feel. Some situations I do when I've been around this person, I've, had like the upper hand in situations where I've just gotten better attention or whatever and I felt cute and played into that vibe unconsciously and it's it's worked out and it's worked out for me you know and it's worked out for me almost to the point where I was looking at this other person and I kind of would feel bad for them because I felt like they were kind of getting ignored or whatnot and I this is the thing is I don't want to see anyone ignored I mean if you're if you're mean to me I want to see you ignored but you know like maybe now I want to see this person ignored because I know that they're like not the nicest to me so like yeah okay you need to be ignored now but like if it wasn't for that I don't want to see anyone be ignored because I know how bad that feels I mean I know that's why I don't make fun of people because I know how bad I just I, I know it, that's the thing is like I know how bad it feels so I don't when you're in a situation that feels bad your natural reaction is to make sure that no one else feels like that and so I feel like I've had enough situations that I haven't wanted to be in. So if I ever feel like someone's in that situation, I try to like, if there's something I can do to make it better or not make someone feel like that, then, you know, I, I try to do that, which kind of gets you in trouble sometimes because then you ever do something because you feel sorry for someone and then they, they take advantage of you. And I'm like, I was only nice to you because I felt sorry for you. And now you're like, now you think you're better than me. Like you st like, you know what I mean? Anyway, like that kind of backfires, but that's not what we're talking about today. So I was thinking about that and I've been in situations, like I said, with this person where I feel like, oh gosh, you know, I don't want, you know, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, I hope so-and-so gives so-and-so some attention or some, or, you know, or something like that. Cause I feel like I could see how this person could feel bad. And there, there were situations with me and this person where I could see, I don't know, I, I could just, let's put it like this, like, I could see how they maybe felt like they had got the second hand, you know what I mean, compared to me, and it's not something that I had done, or had instigated to do, or wanted to happen to that person, like, I could just see how, okay, I feel like that person might feel slighted but at the same time as bad as that sounds not that I want anyone to be slighted I've always been like oh my gosh I'm actually like you know like the cute popular one in this situation you know what I mean like I, I don't like I'm like I'm like oh I need to like savor this you know because I love this feeling but I feel like most of my life growing up I, it's not been like that you know and even in my adult life now I'm like I was like thinking about something today like a situation a, a specific kind of two specific but kind of related situations where I'm just like it's the same damn thing over and over again why do I even why do I even try you know what I mean so it's like I do experience that frustration you know but we're just we're not going to focus on that right now so anyway I just I was like thinking about that I'm like Sam they don't like you because they're jealous and because you're you're the cute nice one like this is the thing I'm in these situations like I'm the cute like sweet nice one and it's not that I don't know, it's not that I don't notice things, and it's not that I, I'm nice, if I'm nice, I'm nice out of choice. Like, I know how to not like you, but still put on a good front. And it's not being phony for me, it's just, I know how, I know how to be nice to someone, but not, like, let them in your inner circle or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I know, I could even share some things with someone, but it's like, I know how to, how to do that. But at the end of the day, I don't care that much about you. You know what I mean? Like, because, you know, if I feel like someone doesn't like me, I, I, I know how to, I don't even want to say play nice, like, but, you know, you could maybe say that, but it's not even fake. Like, I know how to be nice. I know how to just put on this is the thing I'm I am a 
genuinely nice person. Like, I can see through stuff, and it's not that I... It's not that I don't have the ability to not be nice, but you have to think about how would that benefit me? Like, how would that... If I was a jerk to this person, would... What would I... Like, okay, even if you think about it like this, what would I get out of that? Like, if I am... If I'm going to try... Okay, some people are going to say I do this to manipulate, but it's not true. But this is the thing. If I'm the sweet, nice person, okay? If I'm, like, the sweet, nice, cute person in this situation, and you're the mean sourpuss, and I continue to be the sweet, nice, cute person, who's going to look better in the end? I'm I'm sorry, but I'm going to look better in the end. If I return that same energy to the sourpuss person... And I kind of like was like a little bit more of a jerk or whatever, or I was, you know, like, you know, to the point where you could tell, oh, I think Sam just doesn't like this person or whatever. If I ever made myself be the jerk, even if I feel like it's, it's due cause, if people see that, they're gonna, like, that's gonna be a strike against me. But if I can be the cute, nice person, and you're the sourpuss that's a strike against you and a point for me. So it's like, be a little strategic. You know what I mean? It's like, be a little strategic. And this is the thing. I don't, as manipulative as that sounds, I don't, I don't like do that on purpose. I mean, maybe because I, I, maybe unconsciously I do it on purpose, or I guess if I do it on purpose that I, I I guess if I do it unconsciously, you can't do it unconsciously. Well, you can do it unconsciously and do it on, anyway, I don't know if that makes any sense, but it's like, I don't, I don't think that much about it. I don't know. I don't know. I just, anyway, so I just, it was kind of a good feeling and I, I, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know if I should even post this. I don't know if this, I don't know if this makes me sound, (laughs) I don't know if this makes me sound like a jerk or this makes me sound like a horrible person, but it's just like, it's nice. Kind of what I said earlier, I don't care as much if you don't like me, as long as you dislike me for the right reason, then that's flattering. I don't, if someone doesn't like me out of a misunderstanding or someone doesn't like me for the wrong reason, or if you're someone who I who I genuinely like, like, I'm thinking of, I don't know why I'm thinking of this one person, this is, like, months and months ago, I'm like, surely you've had other people who haven't liked you, and it's been worse than this, but I'm thinking of one person who I kind of had a, I don't even know if you would call it falling out with, but one person in particular who I really kind of, like, I don't know, like, I kind of thought, I valued their opinion, I valued this person's opinion, and I valued this person's opinion of me, and at one time, I had, like, a favorable opinion from this person, and then one day it became apparent that I did not, that, that made me feel bad, like, that made me feel, I want to say made me feel bad about myself, it did, I mean, I, I got over it, like, the, that's the thing, is I, I can get over things, I got over it, like, I thought, okay, if it just, it is what it is, like, I would say maybe for every eight or nine people who, okay, eight or nine people out of 10 who don't like me, I, I can live without them. You know, there's maybe like 10 or 20% of people who, if they don't like me, like it may actually kind of bother me. But even if someone is in that, like, we'll say 15%, even if someone is in that 15% of people who dislike me and it would bother me. I, I can still, I still get over it. Like, at the end of the day, I can still get over it. But anyway, this person who I was talking about today who doesn't like me, they're, they're nowhere near that, like, top 15 group or whatever. But, um, anyway. Uh, <laughs> so, all right, my little story for the day. So, thank you so much for watching. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, I'm like, now, now I'm, like, trying to be all cutesy. I don't know. I got my, like, cutesy vibe going on. <laughs> so cheesy. I don't know. Anyway. Oh, my gosh. Sam, stop. Like, see, I can't, I can't help it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Stop. All right. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.